G'day Off Trackers, we're back here at Off Track HQ, which means we're doing another product review. What are we doing this week, Ash? Uh, aren't we unearthing something? We are, so I'm actually starting a new segment, guys. So this will be Off Track Unearthed, and it's where I'm basically taking a lesser known product and showing you guys it and letting you know, let them know about it and let you know whether or not it's worthwhile buying. So the first one off the rank, we're doing Lie Time batteries. So these guys are, are over in the US, and they're now breaking into the Australian market. They were number one on Amazon Prime over there. And from all accounts, it actually seems like a really good battery. So what I'll touch on first, I wanna go into the disclaimer and then I'll run through some specs. And we're actually gonna try draining this to 100% because this battery does have 100% usage. So into my disclaimer, this is where I basically tell you guys uh, if I'm getting any money to do the reviews. And this is something I hope catches on with other YouTubers. So this battery here, haven't been paid to do the review, did get sent the product for free, uh, and they've actually given me a discount code for you guys. Not a lot of you may know this, but with all the YouTubers, uh, well, probably most of them, if they give you a discount code, there's normally a commission that's tied to that. To prove to you guys that I'm not doing this to get money, I actually haggled backwards and forwards with them to drop my commission and put more onto the discount. So I think it's like 8% I've got you guys. Uh, and the lowest that let me drop my commission is 3% from five. So honestly, I don't care about the commission whatsoever. It's just purely about giving you guys good products and the fact that they're offering a discount. I wanted to go harder at it to get you guys that discount. So that's the disclaimer all done. Let's get into the actual battery. As I touched on, started in the US, massive over there, been running for 10 years. Uh, and they're basically an entry level battery. So they have all different sizes, the 200 amp plus is the one I'm going to be reviewing today. This is the one that I would recommend uh, if you're wanting to run an inverter. If you're not interested in running an inverter, they do a 200 amp that has a smaller uh, discharge rate and they also do a 100 amp and then they've got bigger ones as well. The casing is really nice. It's really well put together, finished really well. Uh, the one thing I will touch on, which I'll give you the measurements in the, spec, uh, the, measurements in the specs, but it is a bit bigger. All your 200 amp hour batteries now are starting to shrink. This one's still your traditional size. Not bad if you're putting it in a caravan, not bad if you're putting it behind a seat, not bad if you're chucking it in the canopy, uh, canopy of your ute. In any means, it's, yeah, it's what your 200 amp hour batteries have been for a long time. But the packaging's really finished off nicely. I have to give them credit. I haven't seen this before. All the instructions come in this really nice zip seal bag so you can actually store it away and they won't get ruined so if you ever need to touch on them again you can get it out you get covers uh, in here and your screws you get a spare set of screws as well for the battery which is really nice they give you a couple of stickers if you want to put them on your car which is a nice touch as well and then they do give you uh, an instruction manual and in the instruction manual there is a handy piece of information which I want to point out to you guys. It has a chart because it's not a Bluetooth battery. So it does have a chart here to tell you what percentage you're on if you're just wanting to basically measure it off a multimeter or if you've just got a uh, multimeter sort of display somewhere in your car. Otherwise, you can do what I've done and I've got it hooked up to an LED display which will give me my percentage in usage which is just attached to a Bluetooth shunt uh, and then you can get ones without a shunt. So it's like, I think now you get Victrons for like 110 bucks, 120 bucks or a Victron Bluetooth one. If you want a display, this is the hardcore one. It was an extra 50 bucks more to get a display and Bluetooth. So I picked theirs. Let's get into the stats, shall we, Ash? Let's do it. The important time. Let's see how it crunches up. Oh, I do want to touch on you guys. A touch, touch on you guys. It's a bit creepy touch on it for you guys. I don't just get sent products. So when people reach out to me, I look at the specs. If the specs all line up, I then get the product sent to me and I do two months of testing. So this has been testing for two months, cycling up and down, up and down on charge being used, charge being used, see if anything goes wrong with it before I'll put my name to it. So I will only recommend products that I seriously think will work. About a couple of really big names reach out to me with products that they've got and I've actually refused them because they were no good. So it would have been really good to have them as a sponsorship branding, but unfortunately their product didn't stack up and I'm not gonna push something I don't believe in. So let's get into the stats. Unfortunately, Ash, again, your computer's locked. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, it is freezing cold. So we're gonna rush through this, aren't we, Ash? 
That'll be a first. <laughs> okay, so the price of it, normally $8.99 is regular retail. If you use my uh, link in the description or my discount code, it'll bring it down to $719. Something else to point, these guys do a lot of sales, uh, so you can actually get it for a really good price. Unlike King's, it does have really good stats. So it's an entry-level battery with phenomenal stats. So this one's a 200 amp plus. The BMS has protection over overcharging, over discharge, over current, short circuit, and high temperature. This is a really important one if you're looking at running an inverter. Don't think that every 200 amp hour battery can run the same inverter. This one can run a 2,560 watt inverter, constant. That's the constant load that it can have. So a 2,500 watt inverter is about the maximum you'd go on this one. Uh, has a five year warranty. This was the really interesting one. So 4,000 cycles at 100% DOD. So that's depth of charge, depth of discharge. So that means you can actually take this battery from full to completely empty. And they've assured me that it won't need to be jump started or woken up. I will be testing it for you guys. Uh, that's why I've got the inverter hooked up because it'll be the quickest way to drain it. And then I'll see if it actually does turn back on and if it does stop itself from completely dying. If you do the recommended, which is well, my recommended, I still don't think even with this battery, I would go below 80%. If you go to 80%, you'll get 6,000 cycles, which is really good. Uh, 8,000 is the highest I've seen, so 6,000 is definitely really good and more than you'll use in five years. Uh, maximum continuous output is 2,560 watt. Maximum continuous charge, you can charge it with a 200 amp hour charger. Uh, maximum continuous discharge is 200 amps. The maximum discharge it'll do for five seconds is 400 amps. And the recommended charge, so this is the interesting one, you can charge it at 200 amps, but they're still recommending no bigger than 40, which is most of your standard DC-DC chargers. Uh, the operating temperatures, zero to 50 degrees, for charging, for discharging, you can use a minus 20 to 60 degrees, so that's no problems there. Uh, and then the dimensions. So we've got uh, 533 long, 208 wide, and 216 high. I'm assuming you converted that from inches to millimeters? Yes, <laughs> that is correct. So Ash does all my stats for me, thanks, thanks for that. And then the frame is ABS plastic, uh, flame retardant. So really can, obviously everyone's sort of freaking out about lithium at the moment and catching fires. This is a flame retardant plastic, so really handy. And it's an IP65 rating. So can't go in water, can't go in an engine bay, but yeah, we'll keep all the dust and that out, just not meant for an engine bay. So that's all your stats. As you can see, guys, it definitely stacks up, which is why I was happy to get it and to test it. All my testing has been really good. I've had no problems whatsoever with it. You guys will get a discount code and get it for 700 bucks. So I highly recommend one of these if you're looking for a cheap battery. No Bluetooth, but that's why it's obviously a bit cheaper. So if you're doing a permanent mounting, this is definitely a good battery. So what we'll do now, I'll uh, go to the camp kitchen, flick on the inverter. Put that back off. So the inverter's on. Let's see what we've got over here. Okay, so I found a kettle. Let's plug it in. Flicker on, beautiful, she's off and running. So as you can see here on the display, it's now starting to pull, what are we pulling, Ash? 187 amps, and we're sitting on 197 amp hours and 98%. So I'll leave that to run. It'll probably take a couple of cycles of the kettle to drain that battery quite down. I think it'll be like an hour I'll be sitting here doing the kettle. Uh, but when it gets to like sort of 2%, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll see what happens, make sure it shuts off. And then I'll plug it into my AC charger and see if it'll fire up without needing waking up. So I'll see you once it gets down to almost zero. So something really interesting, the battery, I thought would get hot after draining this much power continuously, but it stayed really cold until I've got down to really now what, 15 amps? Since I got down to 15 amp hours left, it's only just started to warm up. It's still not too bad. If you're gonna be running like air conditioning off your inverter, make sure you got really thick cable because this cable is meant for uh, two, 
250 amps and it's, it stinks. The insulation is actually melting from being continuously run for an hour. So yeah, I would double, double check your cabling if you plan on running an aircon off it. What are we at now? Oh, two minutes, 10 amp hours. Getting close. What? Two amp hours, is it gonna explode? So that's it. Everything's shut off, completely out of juice. As you can see, that's now telling me that there's no battery left, everything's turned off. Uh, and that's time we've only got an amp hour left, so I'm assuming what it must do when it only has 1% one, one, one amp hour left, it completely shuts off uh, and won't let you drain anymore. Which means, because it's still got an amp hour, it should let me charge, so let's plug it in and see if it'll charge up. Okay, so all I've got here is just my 22 amp uh, smart AC charger. And I'll plug it in now, try and do this one handed. Plug it in. That's turned on. So normally you've got to hold the mode button and get this to jump start your battery. But these guys are saying, I want, saying that it won't go completely dead and it'll let you charge it. And we're off. So there you go, that's saying, yep, that it's charging up. So 100%, they were true, they were honest with what they said. You can use this one to 100% capacity and you'll still get that massive, what is it, 4,000 cycles from it, which is hell of a lot more than the Kings that only gives you 2,000 cycles at 80%. So I have to say, I'm blown away with it. Two months now, running it up and down, I've had no issues. That test 100% worked. So if you want to get one of these, use the link in the description or you can use my discount code that'll be on the bottom of the screen here. Uh, this will do for this video. It's freezing cold. I think it's getting down to like three degrees overnight and it's dinner time. I heard Ash just got home. So I'm out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do and I'll keep making these videos for you. And there'll be a couple more unearthings coming. See you in the next one.